What's going on, you crime drama enthusiasts? The two wild boys are back here again, and we're going to go back in time a little bit and review a show that uh, came out last year in the thick of the pandemic, uh, but a show that uh, piqued our interest from the get-go, seeing the first initial trailers and seeing the cast. Obviously, with Joe Cole, we know from Peaky Blinders um, and several other shows and projects that we know. But uh, going into this uh, London underworld here of these gangs, and we're talking about Gareth Evans' Gangs of London today. About six months ago, I got to interview the director, um, Corinne Hardy, that directed a few episodes of the series, but really good friends with Gareth Evans, which is a showrunner and ended up directing the show. But essentially the setup is Gangs of London, uh, the, the main crime boss uh, named Finn Wallace, essentially gets whacked or assassinated. And he was played by Cole Meany from Star Trek. And it really causes a lot of issues with all the gangs in London, him being the crime boss. And his son, played by Joe Cole, plays Sean, is really pissed off and angry. His dad's dead. And they're trying to figure out throughout the series who killed the dad. You know, and it ruffles a lot of feathers with all the, the different gangs and how they were all working together through this main crime boss. And now he's whacked and they're really unsure how they're going to continue their business. Obviously, a lot of illegal things going on. But, you know, trying to make lots of money like they have been, but they're wondering if the son, Sean, could uh, continue on with the business. And it really sets up a lot of really great action and, and blood and gore in this series, something I did not expect. One of the goriest shows I've seen in a very long time. It's just really intense in your face and uh, gut wrenching at the same time from the get go. Uh, the first episode, the pilot episode, there's the introduction to Elliot, which was uh, Finn Wallace's like driver, essentially. Um, he's in this pub and just like a one continuous take, no cuts in this action scene having to do with a pencil and they're beating the shit out of each other in a pub. Gave you the, the vibe they're going for in this series. Really raw, gritty, in your face action and never lets you go. Gritty. This is so gritty. This is the peak <laughs> of gritty, honestly. Uh, it's uh, directed and created by Gareth Evans, as we mentioned. Of course, he directed the, uh, you know, the spectacular action film, The Raid which has that same kind of action. And he brings this over to gangs of London. You're getting a, some amazing fights and brutal fights. You know, you see people's arms getting cut off. You know, you see decapitations, you see necks being cut. You see just punches to the face. You see people flying into things. It's just in your face, rough, raw. Um, and it really captures what they're going for here. It's, it feels really real like you're in london there it's like the underworld it's very dark of course with england a lot of rain clouds and it really sets the mood that's really the mood in this this is uh you know sean wallace's mourning period right after his father's murdered and it's this family that's been these crime bosses for a long time and they just had the the patriarch the you know the don basically of their family get murdered so they have to find out who does it um, and there's all these other families, you know, the same in the same spot. They're all trying to gain influence in London here um, and, you know, advance their agendas. Uh, you know, there's and there's different uh, ethnicities involved here. You know, we have uh, the black, uh, couple, the black uh, father and son, the agent. But you also see an Indian man and his son who is running for mayor. So you have all these factions trying to gain power now that there's this power vacuum after uh, the uh, Finn Wallace was murdered in the very beginning of the show. So just really raw, in-your-face action. Uh, really great uh, character development here. They don't give you a backstory on the characters. They kind of thrust you into the lives of them. But uh, it's they really do a good job of uh, establishing the characters here and spending time, you know, not just on the action scenes, but really getting you know, the audience familiar with these characters, even the minor ones, and just how they tied everything together um, in these uh, 10 episodes of the first season of Gangs of London really impressed me and was something very different that I'd seen in other kind of crime shows. It's definitely, uh, you know, British television is looked at in high regard, and they really bring something different than what we're used to with crime dramas here in America. It feels very different. Yeah, I mean, they really did a great job with the show. It was one of my favorite shows in 2021, even though it came out in 2020 in uh, England. Didn't get released in America until uh, last year. Watch this. I binged it in a few days. Fell in love with this world. Very dark and gloomy and a, a really great, you know, feeling of England. You know, rains there a lot and, you know, it's kind of people down and 
it really captured that atmosphere and having to do with this powerful family and what they're going to do next after the dad is killed and Sean trying to really going through a lot of different things in his life. You know, he's, he's a wreck essentially, and he's, you know, flipping out on people and he's, you know, in short fuse and you can tell he's going through a lot, but you're not sure if he can really lead this family in this business. I thought some of the character arcs were really fantastic in the series. I thought Elliot Finch played by Soap Derussi. I think is how you yeah, pronounce it. He was great. It. He was excellent. I loved his character arc. He was a former cop and he started working with Finn, you know, being his driver, doing all these side jobs. And then after he dies, he's still there for the family, working with Sean. And Sean's not really sure if he can trust him because former cop. And he's doing a lot of legal bad things. Uh, but yeah, Elliot's character is one of the best arcs of the series. Without a doubt, yeah. We get a lot of these interesting side characters with a lot of actors that I hadn't seen too much of before outside Joe Cole and, uh, you know, Mrs. Stark there. Okay. We really get a, some uh, great acting in the show. That's one thing that they brought together. A lot of unknowns for me. And uh, they really did a great job selling these characters. I really, really felt uh, it was something special being in this world. Uh, this was the first kind of show that I'd seen like this from this uh, perspective of London gangs, you know, we're used to seeing American gangs and things like that. So it's really refreshing to see something a little different in this world. And that's what I really appreciated from uh, Gareth, uh, you know, Gareth Evans writing on the show and the directing from Corin Hardy. Everything was great. That's awesome. You got to talk to him, chat with him a little bit, interview him. Um, about his thoughts about the series so if you guys were you know interested in watching this gangs of london and you want to watch our review make sure to watch logan's review with uh, corin hardy they talk about gangs of london the first season yeah check out the interview i'll put a little link at the top of this video here you can check that out it was a little while ago after i binged this and really had a great time with it dived in some great questions about him making it and gareth evans and all that kind of stuff and shared some some interesting information he had he, i guess he hadn't shared with any other interviewers so Check out that video. Uh, you know, I talked about in the video. I really love this series. One of my favorites of 2021. Really impressed. I think it was episode seven where they go out to the cottage, straight oh, up yeah. gunfight. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like 3,000 <laughs> rounds that go off. It reminded me much Insane. of Sky, Skyfall, you know, and Bond's out in the mansion and that guy show up and stuff like that. It reminded me much of that. And it was really impressive, like how gory that was and shit blowing up everywhere and fires and there's just so much action. I'm like, I was very impressed. This came to AMC. I'm like, is that going to revive the network? Finally, <laughs> after, you know, Breaking Bad and things like that, they have a really impressive, you know, action series. And um, I'm really excited for season two. Two, I think that's coming out later this year. So I'm interested to see where these characters go. I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, bodies hitting the floor in this show. You don't know who's going to survive. So don't get attached to too many people. But uh, it's, yeah, I'm very excited for season two. Season one. Um, I thought it was pretty perfect across the board, directing, show running, you know, cinematography, action, set design, obviously the performances, character arcs are really top notch. But that being said, that's a show you guys should uh, definitely check out. So I'm going to give the first season of Gangs of London a five out of five. Damn. Damn. Wow. Sean Wallace hair pieces. Oh, Sean. Yeah, the tone of this is very serious and intense. Every episode's intense. It always leads to some big, huge action sequence. Like you mentioned, that seventh episode shootout was amazing. Some yeah. of the one-on-one -on -one fights are just brutal. You see some really crazy stuff here, some really gnarly bone breaks and uh, you know, you know, people attacking with hatchets, going through with machetes, chopping people <laughs> up. It's really brutal, um, but uh, very well done. The acting's great. The character arcs are really awesome. Don't get attached to too many people on this because a lot of people get killed. But I uh, highly recommend this to you guys. I loved it too. Everything about it. I can't wait to see what they do with season two, how they you know, either continue this story or move on to a, maybe another family there, since it seems there's a lot of gangs in London. Yeah, I would, I would say the show is like the raid meets Peaky Blinders meets Breaking Bad, like all wrapped into one. It's, it's really That's a good. Yeah. It's, it's like similar, but it's unique. Like it's just something different that I haven't seen it in a TV series, especially. And, uh, you know, just a really interesting story. So I was really impressed by that. Really exciting. The series is great. I love how they paced it throughout these 10 episodes of the show. Um, if you guys love those other series that we mentioned and you love British TV, there's a lot of great uh, BBC shows. Uh, Luther, you know, this is another uh, great show to add to the queue. You guys should definitely check it out. Gangs of London season one. Uh, season two will be out later this year. I am going to give season one of Gangs in London a four out of five.
Finn Wallace hair pieces. Hey, boys, remember me on Star Trek Voyager? So we want to hear your guys' thoughts on Gangs in London. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Also, check out these wild hooligans on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, our website, cinefellas.com, for the latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. So these two wild rascals, we had a really great time watching Gangs of London. We recommend it to you guys. We both loved it. Uh, Logan gave it a perfect five out of five. Uh, he really loves it. Wow. He, he it. just loved the fuck out of the show. He can't wait yeah. for a second season. I can't either. Let us know what you guys think after you watch this. Uh, we recommend it to you guys. If you've already seen it, let us know what you guys thought. Um, we will definitely post a trailer for the second season once it drops. We've seen a little teaser. Once we get the full trailer, we'll be posting that to our page, of course. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in to our review of Gangs of London. Uh, we've been going back in time and reviewing, you know, TV series, even from a few years back, some of the classics and some that uh, we want to recommend to you guys. So leave us a comment. Let us know if you have any shows in mind that you'd like to see us dive into and, you know, be silly about and talk about for a few minutes here with you guys. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in so much. We will be back very soon. So until the next Cinefellas TV series review, that's my good mate, Logan Myers. I'm Uncle Henry Hill. We're going back to London, bruv. Grab your Let's quid. get out of here, bruv. Cheese. Cheese to the pub.